Welcome to ETAP 2015 Tutorial 3. In this tutorial, we will be dealing with two different topics. The first one is assigning the seismic loads and the second one is defining the load combinations. So let's get started with the first topic. In the case of seismic analysis of a building, we will be assigning the seismic load or the base shear along the both directions or axis of a building one at a time. So here, EX is my base shear that is acting along the X direction and EY is my base shear that is acting along the Y direction. To start with the seismic analysis of a building, we have to define the seismic load that is acting along both X and Y direction. So to define the seismic load, go to define, select the load pattern and in this load pattern dialog box, under the load box, First, we are going to assign the earthquake load that is acting along the x direction. So, we are naming it as EX and under the type, select the seismic, leave the self weight multiplier as 0 itself and under auto lateral load, you can see several international codes of earthquake analysis being listed here. So, you can select any of the code according to your desire but here, I am selecting the Indian code that is IS1893-2002. And after making the selection, select add new load so that you can see your earthquake load along the x axis is being added to your load pattern. And next, we need to define or define this earthquake load. So, for that, go to modify lateral load. So, here, one thing to note is that whatever code you select, you have to be aware about the factors and coefficients used for calculating the time period and the base shear as they vary depending upon each code. So here, in this seismic load pattern, first let me start with the direction and the eccentricity. So here I am unchecking all these boxes. So as I am assigning the earthquake load along the x direction, you can either select the x direction or x direction plus eccentricity. So here I am selecting the second option because I am assigning an eccentricity of certain percentage which is considered to be acting throughout the service life of a building. So next is eccentricity ratio. So here I give a value of 5% as the eccentricity throughout the service life of the building. And next is selecting the story range. So I select the top story as my story 5 and the bottom story as the base. And next the response reduction factor is 5. And under seismic coefficients, my building is in zone 5. So the as per my code, the value corresponding to zone 5 is 0 0.36 and next is a site type or the soil type. So I am selecting the weak soil that is uh, the soil type 3 and the next importance factor is 1 itself and next under the time period you can see three different options that is approximate, program calculated and the user defined. If you want your ETAPS software to calculate the time period and the base shear for you, just select the program calculator or if you want to assign the time period that has been defined by you, select the user defined. But here I prefer the program calculator and click on OK. So here you have defined your earthquake load along the x direction and next let me assign the load along the y direction that is EY. Leave the rest factors as it is and click on add new load. And now we need to modify or define the earthquake load along the y direction. So select the modify lateral load. And here select y direction plus eccentricity as the load is acting along the y direction. Select the site type as 3 and leave the rest of the data as it is and click on OK. So here you can see both EX and EY is being assigned as our seismic load and click on OK. So the next step is to specify the percentage of live load that has to be considered for the seismic weight calculation. So for that, go to define again, select the mass source and here you can already see a mass source being defined as default. So let's modify it. So go to modify or show mass source and we will keep the name as it is and under mass source, uncheck the element self mass and the additional mass. Because here we are going to assign our own load pattern that is going to be 
considered for seismic weight calculation. So select specified load patterns. And next under mass multipliers for load patterns, select the dead load. And next select the masonry load. And next in the case of live load, I am giving a multiplier of 0.5. That means I am only considering the 50 percentage of live load to be considered for calculation of seismic weight. This is because according to the Indian code, it specifies that if the imposed load that is acting on the slab of a building is more than 3 kN per meter square, the percentage of live load that has to be considered is 50 percentage. So this value can vary from code to code, but more likely it remains to be 50 percentage. And after assigning the live load, click on add. And you don't have to change anything over here. Make sure that you take the include lateral mass and the lub lateral mass at story levels and click on OK and click on OK. So here you are done with assigning the mass source for the seismic weight calculation. So let's come to the second topic. So our second topic is assigning the load combinations. At the left, you can see I have listed nine different load combinations according to Indian Standard Code. So these are the combinations that we have to define in our load combination dialog box of ETAPS 2015. For defining the load combinations, go to define, select the load combinations. And here in this dialog box, select the add new combo to start with adding the combination. So here we are going to assign nine different combinations. So let's start with the first combination and we are going to name it as COM1 and let the combination type be linear add. So the combination one is dead load plus live load with a scale factor of 1.5. So here I need to change the scale factor. So I'm giving a value of 1.5 and click on add. And next is the masonry load and that too I'm giving a factor of 1.5. Click on add. And next I need to assign the live load with the same partial factor. So click on add and if you need to delete a combination just select the combination and click on delete. So we have assigned our first combination that is dead plus masonry plus live load and after entering your first combination click on ok. So for assigning the next combination select on add new combo and let the load combination name be com2 and the combination type be linear add. So here we are going to assign the seismic load also in the combination 2. So here the scale factor is 1.2. Add and next select the masonry load with the same scale factor. And next we assign the live load. And next we can select the earthquake load. So here if you need to assign EX, select EX. Or if you need to assign the EY, select EY depending upon each combination. Suppose if you need to assign a minus value to EY or EX, you have to just assign the scale factor as minus 1.2 or any value according to what your code says. So here I need a combination of EX with a positive value of 1.2. And after making the assignments, click on OK. So here you have combination 1 and combination 2 and similarly you can enter the rest of these 7 combination that is from combination 1 to combination 9. So here I have defined 9 different combination and next I am going to explain how to define an envelope for the entire combinations starting from 1 to 9. So for defining envelope go to add new combo and let the combination name be COM10 and in combination type select the envelope option and here in the define load combination box select from the drop down the combinations that require for finding the envelope so here i am going to define combinations from 1 to 9 as an envelope so assign com1 combination 2 combination 3 combination 4 Combination 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So here I have defined 9 different combinations under my envelope combination 10. 
So the main advantage of defining the combination as envelope is that by selecting the combination 10, we will be provided with maximum and minimum values of all the combinations selected in this combination. So here I'll be getting the maximum values of combination 1 to combination 9 when I select the combination 10 for result. So that is the main advantage of assigning a combination as envelope. So after selecting all the combinations, click on OK and click on OK. So here we are done with assigning the load combination and also the load combination as envelope. And this is the end of the third tutorial. And the next tutorial we will be dealing with how to analyze and check the model and also how to understand the post analysis results in the case of ETAB 2015.